common share is um, three times, and uh, uh, what else we got here? Um, for the quarterly data, the last two quarters, um, the July quarter of last year was 396 million in revenues, and uh, in October that jumped to 428. So we'll still continue to grow. Price to book, it's only trading at four times book value. A lot of these companies, competition, are trading at 20, 25% book value. So with that share correction, it really bought these valuations down. And price to sales ratio, again, is just 1.88. Um, most of the competitors in high tech are trading at 10 times that. A lot of companies trading at 15 uh, to 20 times sales. So. That was uh, pretty attractive. Just going by Yahoo's um, analyst earnings forecast, which are pretty good. It's a good um, site to go to for, um, it kind of brings all the analysts together and gives you an average of, of the earnings for revenues and uh, earnings per share. Uh, this quarter uh, projected to lose 14 cents. Next quarter, just three cents. And next year, they've got earnings of 14 cents on the following year of 32. So I'll say the year after that, they're, they're up, you know, 80 cents. You give a P ratio of, uh, say, 20. Uh, you're up in the $16 range. Plus, as a company, um, if it can fend off the competition and keep its lead, could then have that grow at 20%, 30% for, for quite a few years. Uh, sometimes a good technology company can run for almost a decade, right? So, um, so that's what I liked about it. Um, I don't think, uh, let's see what else I made note of as I'm going through their 10K. They do have quite a few patents. I think they've got 2,000 patents uh, outstanding and uh, which is also fends off any competition um, to some degree and uh, even now if the company was to go to completely bankrupt because it's got so much gas uh, um, so much cash it's got uh, a net uh, liquidation value of 3.42 And uh, yeah, so they've got 2,000 patents, they have 3,400 employees, and uh, most of their sales are in North America, 72%, and the rest of the world makes up the other 30% or so. So that's just one i have uh, keeping an eye on, um, and uh, hopefully it's one I can add to, and, and uh, see possibly 20% or, or so uh, you know, capital gains um, growth on it. This one, of course, being a new technology company, does not pay any dividends. And it's kind of the other end of the spectrum of what I've really been talking about um, as far as just right now, just trying to find good solid dividend playing companies. But um, um, I do feel this one does have some long-term potential. Anyways, uh, that finishes off this uh, group of videos and uh, I'll try to put something out uh, next week. Thanks. Bye.